Okay, so I'm going to explain ordered hashing. So um, what we talked about uh, before um, using Brent method and binary tree hashing is ways of reducing the length of successful searches. So, so ser searches that find the item in the hash table. And uh, so we organize the items in the table, uh, in the hash table, in such a way that uh, successful searches would be short. Uh, now we're going to look at how to make uh, unsuccessful searches uh, short, so su uh, searches that basically identify that the element is not in the table, right? So um, usually the way that we uh, would do that is that we just go um, take steps uh, from the start uh, place and um, um, continue until we find an empty place, and then we know that... Um, our element doesn't exist. So we want some method that would tell us to stop even before we reach that empty slot. Okay, so suppose we have here an example, cow, dog, pig, ape, cat, and that they were all entered into our table um, without any clashes. Okay, so cow was mapped here, dog here, pig here, ape here, and cat here. And now um, we want to see, um, check if we have rat uh, in the table. Okay, so the regular way would be that we would check equality with each one of these locations. Um, first, uh, rat is not cow, not dog, not pig, not ape, not cat. And finally, we have an empty place. So now we know that, um, that we don't have a rat in the table. Um, so how does ordered uh, hashing make this um, shorter? Okay, so the way we do it here is we um, search um, by comparing, by, by doing a comparison of size here, let's say that uh, we're using alphabetical order, so rat is, or dictionary order, um, that rat is um, larger than cow or later than cow, so um, we basically stop when we uh, see an element that is smaller than the element that we entered, okay, so we're s that we're looking for. So here we have a rat, and it's larger than cow, so immediately we know that there is no rat in the table, okay? So, um, so that seems magical, but, um, but the payment is uh, when we want to insert a uh, rat into the table. Okay, so uh, we have to do it in a special way so that uh, later uh, unsuccessful searches um, will be correct. Okay, so we insert um, rat. How do we do that? We um, say, okay, rat is larger than cow, so we have to have it before cow in the order. So we're going to uh, erase cow and put r rat here. Then we're going to start moving with cow, so cow here is uh, smaller than dog, so that's um, that's okay. We need to continue going. Um, it's smaller than pig. We need to continue going, but it's larger than ape. So what we would do is we would bump out ape and put cow here. Okay, and now that um, we're here, we have ape that we bumped, so it needs to go to the next place, and so we'll put ape um, here. And this is all designed in such a way that um, later searches um, for elements that don't exist in the table um, would, would, be, would be correct. Okay, so now suppose we're searching for uh, DAO. We have the table now completely full. Um, we want to know if there is a DAO here. So we go, we compare DAO to RAT, um, and that basically says, okay, uh, we should continue. We compare DAO to DOG, um, and again, DAO is smaller than DOG, so it should continue. We compare DAO to PIG, and we should continue. And now we need to compare DAO to COW, and uh, DAO is larger than COW, so we know that uh, we don't have DAO in the table. Okay, so um, before, if you remember, COW was right here in the beginning, so DAO would have immediately decided that uh, we don't have DAO in the table. Now, after we organized it, we do make a shorter um, search because we basically don't search all locations, but um, we do have to go through these other elements.